You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Prime Minister of Cambodia and the Chairman of ASEAN in 2022 has noted that ASEAN has been able to overcome the global threat of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the ASEAN and global economy is still fragile and divided, which requires the association to work together to achieve a peaceful, modern, resilient ASEAN community. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the 40th and 41st ASEAN summits and related meetings on Friday morning, Prime Minister Hun Sen said that despite the colossal challenges, ASEAN has organized the ASEAN foreign ministers, socio-cultural community ministers, economic ministers, defense ministers, and other ministerial meetings with satisfactory results. He added that this shows ASEAN's solidarity towards multilateralism, maturity in diplomatic engagement, and a determination for peace, stability, and humanity for all. The ASEAN chair said that while the world has been going through the COVID-19 crisis for nearly three years, ASEAN has been successful in reviving social and economic activities based on the assessment and forecast of the ASEAN Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office. Each ASEAN member state has been able to achieve positive economic growth, and the ASEAN region as a whole will achieve a growth rate of 5.3% and 4.9% in 2022 and 2023 respectively. This forecast is high compared to other regions of the world. However, the ASEAN chair also noted that the current socioeconomic situation in ASEAN, as well as in the whole world, still remains fragile and divided. So ASEAN must stay united in its wisdom to make the right decisions and policies to address the strategic challenges the region faces. Prime Minister Hun Sen said, as we move on forward, let us not forget our past and values that have been built upon and stood for. I believe that it is not often mentioned, but our motto, ASEAN One Vision, One Identity, One Community, still holds true to its values today. He stressed that ASEAN must focus on the common goal of mutual development for peace, stability, and the betterment of the region. He said, Our relationships here are not created by chance, but through years of hard work, commitment, and perseverance. We must treasure and be grateful of what we have built and therefore maintaining our unity, solidarity, and centrality is of utmost priority in order for our region to sustain and be resilient for what is to come.